When you hear or think about working abroad, what's the first and perhaps the only thing that comes to your mind? On-site opportunity? Well, what if I told you there are a lot more ways to come to Germany or in general Europe? If you want to know more, stay tuned till the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do to stay updated with all my new videos. Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new in this space, welcome. My name is Amrita. I live in Germany and I make informative content about life in Germany, about jobs, visas, finance and much more. In today's video, let us discuss about how an Indian can get a job in Germany. What are the different ways? So the first and perhaps the most popular among Indians is coming to Germany for higher studies. The reason being, many renowned German universities provide higher education such as bachelors, masters and MBA with a very nominal fee. And it's also not like if the course is free then the quality of education will be compromised. Germans are quite well known for the quality in everything they do, so that applies to education as well. When you come to Germany with a student visa for higher studies, you will have the opportunity to do internship with organizations. And if your performance is good and you're lucky enough, this can be converted into a full-time opportunity as well. But even if you don't manage to get a full-time job by the end of your, let's say, master's degree, you will be given with a visa extension up to 18 months from the day you finish your course. So coming to Germany with a student visa will be our first option to get into Germany and get a job here. The next option would be a job seeker visa. This is given to professionals who want to come to Germany and look for a job here. But I would say the risk associated with a job seeker visa is quite high because you will probably have to leave your current job back in India and move to Germany, which is already inducing a financial strain on you. And this visa is normally given for a period of six months. And if you don't secure a job by the end of these six months, you have to go back to India. So if you're planning to come to Germany with a job seeker visa, the suggestion would be to do some basic research about the German job market Assess your technical skills against it and strengthen it if required. Also make some time and effort to learn the German language skills. At least B1 level of language skills are suggested if you're planning to come with a job seeker visa because trust me, six months is not a very long duration here to get a job. And if you're coming for a job in core sector or even sometimes in the IT space, the German language skills are absolutely essential but if you manage to get a job with a job seeker visa then with the help of the contract you obtained from your employer you can convert a job seeker visa into a long-term residence permit depending on the term of your contract the next option is a family reunion visa or spouse visa if your partner or your spouse is already working in germany you can apply for a family reunion or spouse visa to join them in Germany. And yes, you heard it right. Unlike most other countries, in Germany, you can really start working full time with a family reunion visa. So if you come to Germany with a family reunion visa and you secure a job, you can choose to stay with the family reunion visa or you can make your own independent visa with the help of your job contract as well. Now let's talk about a lesser known fact of getting a job in Germany, which is directly from your home country by a German employer. Yes, German companies do hire foreigners directly. I had immigrated in 2017 to another European country from India with the employment visa where a lot of effort was required from the employers starting from hiring a relocation agency and an agent to help me with the work permit and other paperwork. So in this case, the employers normally tend to avoid all these difficulties of time and money 
and go for locals instead of foreigners. But the good part about the German employment visa is you don't need a lot of help or effort from your employer. Just the employment contract and a couple more documents would do. And you on your own can assort all other documents and apply for the employment visa in any of the German consulates in India you belong to. Now the question arises, how to secure a job in Germany while sitting in India? The first and foremost thing would be your CV. The Indian format CV will not be acceptable in Germany in most of the cases or in Europe for that matter of fact. There is a specific Europass format of CV that you need to design. One other important aspect of job application in Germany is the cover letter. This may not be applicable for the jobs we apply in India, but cover letter is essential for job application in Germany. So cover letter is basically your motivation why you are applying for the specific job. So at the end of the day, it comes down to how effectively you can express why you need this job or why you are applying for it or how you are a best fit for this job. And one cover letter won't suffice for all the jobs you apply to. So make a genuine effort in applying for the jobs and modifying the cover letters and to make it the best fit. Once your CV is ready in the Europass format, probably the next thing that would come to your mind is where to apply for these jobs? Well, there are a lot of common, you know, known portals as in any other country such as Monster and Indeed. Some of the popular German job portals are Stepstone.de and uh, Zing and Stellenanzeigen.de. But personally, I find LinkedIn the most rapid and effective. I have got both my jobs in Europe through LinkedIn. So build a really good LinkedIn profile and make some meaningful connection. Just having thousands of people in your network is not sufficient. Do some research about the companies that you want to apply to. Look for their company pages in LinkedIn or even their website for any open positions. And one very important note I wanted to point out here is don't shy away from networking with unknown people. The professional networking website are just for that so that you can make the right connections. What's the worst that can happen? You will get no in a response. But there is no harm in that. At least you won't regret that you didn't try. Trust me, one simple message can go a long, long way. So while you send a connection request to the recruiter or the product manager of a company, I suggest to have a meaningful message why you're interested in connecting with them so that they will appreciate and try to help you. One other very unconventional way for a company to get applications is by uh, unsolicited applications. Let's say you visit a company's website and you find that your skill sets uh, match the company's vision or the company can benefit from your skills. You can drop an email to the respective uh, department in that company and they can even create a position for you, even if it was not there, but they feel that you can be a great addition to their organization. So that was kind of it for today's video, guys. Um, I understand that it seems almost impossible, but trust me, that's till you take the first step and then everything follows along. But if you have any further queries about the employment visa or anything, please let me know in the comment section and I can help you with that. I have gone through this process now twice over. So I can definitely help you with any of your questions. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. If you find this information useful, please hit that like button. That will encourage me and let me know that you're appreciating my efforts in making these videos. And I'll try harder to you know, bring even more informative content. And um, yeah, so... See you next time with a whole new video and till then stay safe, take care and bye for now.